Watch new pussycat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch new pussycat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey y'all, Chunky here. Sunny, stormy, and not sure if we can see the tail, but hi from everybody. Yes, they're on the kitchen table where they are not supposed to be. Well, this is this is for uh, fame, and he's going to turn the camera. Well, it is current day. Today is April thirteenth, twenty twenty-two. Can you believe it? Ah, uh, yeah. And just for poops and gills. It is currently 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. My, my, my. He's gonna knock us out of the frame. But uh, weather bug, not weather bug, is that what I got? AccuWeather. AccuWeather. For Washington Courthouse, it actually says 70, real feel 68. And yes, I'm wearing a hoodie because I get chilled real easy, but it's been cold. It has not been cold here. It has been cold. Um, we just wanted to get on and do a live, and I'm gonna get up again and see if Dakota's still in the if Chunky is still in screen. <laughs> but uh, you're supposed to do that after. <laughs> but anyways, voila. Chunky and I are doing well and sunny. Um, just wanted to do an actual real-time video and um, we'll make sure to notate it that way so that you know it's a real-time video. Um, what you've been seeing on our channel, if you've been following us regularly or are a new subscriber, and sorry for the cat butt, um, what it is is past, well now that I'm caught up for the whole month of May 2021, I'm just, what, 10 months behind in videos? I don't have that, you know, tons and tons of video to create, but um, due to health issues and... Um, I suffer with depression, so a mental health break, and, and among other things. Health in life tends to get in the way sometimes, but um, you haven't seen anything um, current from the both of us. As I said, I've been personally taking video all along, and as I do my catch-up, and those are titled cats catch-up, sounds like catch-up that you put on hamburger or a hot dog or something, but my, my stuff my individual stuff that I've been capturing, and we'll explain that, will will be notated as catch up until I get current. But November, after Thanksgiving. Well, hold on. We ain't seen you guys in, well, the last video that I put on YouTube was September 18th of 2021. And that was the, uh, the security cam video that we've had to since change. And music has been removed, so it's not as fun, but yeah, it wasn't our choice to remove the music, but... But since you've seen us last, I have gotten my own place. I have come off the road. We're in his very first apartment, Chunky's very first apartment. Um, here in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. So, playing catch-up, if you notice the dates and I, the way I've been notating them... Um, we came back to Ohio. We left Arizona April 30th of last year, 2021, to come back to Ohio with the intention of surprising um, Dustin. His wife, Courtney, already knew that we were coming, but we were coming to stay in, a, in the state park so that we could surprise um, Dustin because he was taking his uh, RV travel trailer out for the first time. So we left Arizona for the summer to come back here to Ohio to spend time with the family and the grandkids for me and whatnot and uh, so that's the stuff that we're I'm catching up on um, we both were here of course Chunky moved into his first apartment in August a all, Friday the 13th uh, of all days August 13th of 2021 I've been here we're into April already it's hard to believe we're coming up on summer we uh Today, April 13th, we were actually in the midst of preparing to come to leave Arizona and come back and when we left April 30th. But like I said, since then, I've come off the road. I got this apartment. I've been here since August. I've been working a lot, um, back in the maintenance stuff, which I thoroughly enjoy. Henceforth, shorter beard, working outside, different hat. 
Different Chunky. <laughs> He's gonna fall off the table. He's trying. It got a little bit cold. I was staying in my RV in Dustin driveway. Dustin's driveway. Listen to him. I'm conditioned to Arizona, so. But um, for like the last month or so, before I went back out on the road solo, um, I had been staying in Chunky's apartment with him because it was just too cold to stay in the RV in Dustin's driveway. Um, so of course I I went ahead and slid the RV over in the storage units just like a mile mile from us. Um, it's locked. This a locked yard where I keep it, but um, up until I stayed for my son's wedding in October, um, and then had Thanksgiving with the family at Dustin's house, and then the next day is when I went out solo and solo with my my furry co-pilot. I could have kicked your butt the day you left. She picked the worst day to move to to leave. The got froze locked out of the trailer. Twenty nine degrees. It was snowing, and the locks were froze. And I still had stuff in the apartment that I needed to take with me and put back in the RV. My truck is full, the entire back seat is full, the front seat is packed as much as it could, and the bed of the truck, I couldn't put anything in. My truck was completely loaded as well. So uh, that his truck was loaded with the stuff that I was needing to put into the RV. So between him and Dustin, they literally had to break into my trailer. But we got it. <laughs> add that to the resume. Anyways. Yeah. But, uh, she took off uh, day after Thanksgiving. She was November twenty sixth. November twenty sixth. She was on her way to Arizona. Um, took you what four or five days to get there? I pulled in at twelve fifteen, twelve thirty a.m. I was pulling into the LTBA. Hey, sorry, I touched your feet. Um, it's pulling into Quartzsite like quarter after twelve in the morning of the 29th. And by the time I got down the road and pulled into the LTBA, I just pulled in and I parked for the night. Um, I didn't bother, you don't want to be trying to run around in the dark out there in the desert and trying to find a camp spot, but um, I had people that I was meeting up with, but I just stayed where I was until the sun come up, until um, I had to get propane for my RV, and I had to get the propane lines fixed that go from the tanks to the RV, so I just stayed where I was until it was time, um, watched the sun come up, and and then it was time, and then I went into the RV pit stop and, and, and took care of my um, what I needed to take care of before I went back into the LTBA and set up camp for the first time by myself. You did good. She did good the entire time. Every, the, the joke was everybody needs a chunky. She don't need a chunky. She, mm. She's a strong, independent woman. She can handle it herself. She did really good from the generator work that she did to upkeep of the rig. She did really good. Um, I mean, I prove. I, aside from the fact that I love the lifestyle and it's what I want to be doing, and um, having the experiences, you know, I'm 53 years old, and all my babies are not babies anymore. He just turned 24 the uh, the beginning of February. The baby's 24, um, and my oldest just turned 31 yesterday. I have four boys, and my oldest just turned 31 yesterday, and my oldest granddaughter turned nine. So. <laughs> I'm feeling a little old, but um, of course the reasons I wanted to go back out, is, as I said, I like the lifestyle, I enjoy it. She secretly wanted to get the hell away from me. All of them. Um, but uh, I love my family, don't get me wrong. Um, but other mothers and parents out there, you get it, right? Just let me know in the comments below. Um, I see them comments too. <laughs> but a big part of it was as he said, everybody needs a chunky, and that's one of the decals I got on my window, on my truck. Big part of it was, yes, I want, I'm in the lifestyle, I love this lifestyle, I've been planning to do this lifestyle for several several years before I even started July 2019, become, going full time. Um, but, you know, due to my health and, and things that were going on, I definitely wanted to go out, number one, big and, biggest and first and foremost was that I'm, I wasn't afraid to do it. And, you know, as I said, I'm only 53, so I'm not anywhere near... I thought you just said you were 54. I'll be 54 this year. Anyways, um, I'm trying to keep up with this as well. Yeah, uh, they never know my birthday. What do you mean? I know your birthday, I just don't know how old you are. But, um... Number one, first and foremost, doing it while I'm 
not afraid to do it. I'm the, I'm the one that's done all the towing of the RV, so that to me was not even a concern. Mind you, gas stations can tend to scare the crap out of you and, and do cause me a lot of anxiety because one that was supposed to be RV favorable, because I checked that, and it, and it was a pilot. Um, I didn't notice that this one supposedly didn't say RV favorable, but most of them are. Any of the other ones I've been in, well, this one wasn't, and I got in and I had trouble getting out because I ended up, the, the rear tire of the uh, trailer curbed, and then when it came down, it just I happened to pull enough ahead that it tweaked the rear stabilizer. Which you can see from the videos that I posted last May. I think it's in there. I think it's actually the one May we got, 5th. We or, got to Metropolis, yeah. yeah, is when I showed that. So add that to the list, the stabilizer, the gas pump, the bush. With the trailer? And you hit a few bushes. Well, I'm talking about, yeah. But anyways, gas stations. But again, That's back... Just funny. Back to the, the fear of doing it, aside from that, and I research it, I plan my route out so that I know, you know, the gas stations, that's another whole video, time consuming video, to share how I plan my trips. But, so getting into the gas stations is a, a big, you know, anxiety inducer for me. But as I said, I wanted to do it to prove that I could do it, to do it while I wasn't afraid to go solo and do it. And I needed to prove to myself, first and foremost to myself, I know I didn't need to, but not only myself, but to prove it to my kids that I'm perfectly capable of doing it. That I never I, doubted you. No, I didn't say anybody I doubted it. I your ass. And I know, I know, I know. But I had to prove to everybody that I could do it. Or at least up here I felt I had to. You know, so many things you do in life. And one of my lifelong tenants is, don't tell me I can't do something because by God, Shabon. I will prove you wrong. And Tell the, her. No, wait. Tell the her. Only, the only way you'd be right is if it caused me to go to the grave. But otherwise, I'm going to be successful. It may take me a heck of a long time and a lot of tries, but by God, don't tell me I can't do something. She'll because move out wash washer dryer, set up a set of stairs. You tell her she can't. Mm -hmm. I may be hurting like a you-know-what later on and pay for that physically, but no, it, it was... I, I did a lot of this to myself, not in a conceited way, but, you know... Traveling by myself, for one, as I said, I've done done the towing, so that wasn't an issue. I did miss, miss having, what did you call yourself? My little chase vehicle, my little wingman, you know. I the, was useful. You know, because especially if it was busy, busy highway, and you see a big, big vehicle ahead of you that turns on its blinkers, most people, and definitely from experience, and I've done it occasionally, you know something's coming up and you're not wanting to get stuck behind a big vehicle, guess what? You're trying to race around them. So I turn on my blinker and people behind me see the trailer. I can't move over and zip over as quick as say somebody who's dri driving behind me. So what I would do, whether we were on the walkie talkie or we had our, had our phones on, hands-free driving. Never. If we weren't communicating via the phone or the walkie-talkie, even if I flipped on my blinkers, he automatically went into gear and checked, and he got over, which left me that hole so I could slide in, if that makes sense. If people, if we needed to get over construction coming up or we, whatever, whether it be try to get over towards an exit, if we knew it was coming up, I'd slide over, and even if that me, me, meant me letting off the gas to slow down a little bit for her to get over so it allowed her the space to, mm -hmm. if I piss somebody off behind me, they're gonna flip me off and keep driving. She pissed somebody off, you're going to give her more than just the, I just flipped you off. Anyways. Not the first time. Don't tell them that. No, because we did a lot of practicing. I've got a fast finger and a slow finger, but that's another whole I... video, too. <laughs> now, <laughs> we get into some of the strangest conversations, let me tell you. Especially when the whole family gets together. But, so, we're not trying to make this a real long video, but we are both healthy, happy, whatever. Um, been living our lives. Um. I've been keeping myself busy and out of trouble. I uh, got back into the maintenance stuff, as I said just a few minutes ago. I'm currently working between two apartment complexes with the same company. Along with his father, so he's getting more quality time. Um, we are getting back to current day stuff. I'll probably do more current day right now than she will. Of course, her, like she said, her, her catch up stuff will be marked. But anything going forward, from me, unless it's marked otherwise, it will be current day. He's gonna fall off the table. Yeah, he's working on it. Um, yeah. 
but there could be videos just from me about what goes on in my day-to-day, -day, what I do at work, whether it be, we redo apartments top to bottom. We've had some real nasty ones. Um, if anybody's really interested in that, we can really get into that. Um, again, this is our channel. He's going to con con continue to contribute. We're going to do stuff together, especially while I'm home. I didn't intend to come back because, as you said, this is April 13th. I got back March 5th. Um, I didn't intend on coming back as early as I did because I've been freezing, as I said, but I hurt my back and I figured it would be best that I'm back here in case I needed to seek health care because my, my medical records and my back history and whatnot's here. But So from this point on, um, like I said, anything that I have, I'm going to continue to market catch up until, you know, um, I am caught up and I will keep you abreast of that. Um, anything that he posts, same thing, unless it's something from the past, because he's, he's got pictures, really neat pictures of before and after stuff that he's done, and we, he's going to continue because he's the one that takes care of the, uh, what do you call it, the playlists and stuff. I can't take, our, take all credit for all that that's been done. Again, I'm going to be doing clips of the day-to-day. -day. My father, he's really interested in learning the ins and outs of how we do all this, and honestly, I got a couple clips today that will not be in this video because they're not very long, and don't pertain to the video but well you can build up a bunch of stuff and put yeah, it together no, that's what we're gonna do but he's interested and we we do work day to day together and we get into some well he's gonna con contribute continue to contribute to this channel because this is Buckeye Kitty he has as I, I I posted on Facebook and thank you to those subscribers from Facebook and the groups that I'm in on there that have joined since um, my post I made last night um, he's gonna continue to contribute because he is. He's part of um, Buckeye Kitty. Ever since you know I started this as a, a travel channel and whatnot, I'm going to continue to do the stuff related to full-time RV living and the traveling. And obviously, when I'm home and with family, I'm going to continue to share stuff like that. And Chunky's going to add his stuff, which may down the line end up being a channel him and his, his dad end up putting together because their comedic team themselves you know again as she made in the post and as we've stated this is not in no way a g-rated channel <laughs> now i don't want to say we're going to go over the top but uh when it comes to clips that i may post we are guys we are contractor types things do happen you get electrocuted gl fuck well one if, of us had to get it in if it's one of us if had it's to get totally it. aggressive or whatever it's not we can beep it or we yeah. can mute it or whatever but as I made in the post, I forget the exact wording I put, um, something to the, something along the lines as this is not a G-rated channel. It's definitely not a channel for children. Really, son? Or... And uh, he probably, nobody can see that, but the cat's on the That's table. That's good. You know, whatever. He's being subjective. <laughs> um, it's not a channel for children. Um, we don't claim to be perfect. I'm not one of those over-the-top cuss words out of my mouth every second of the day. But as I also stated in my post last night was, we're not a scripted channel. We don't do 20 takes to, to get that moment, you know. Um, so things will be said or stub my toe, I might cuss, you know. And he's back to normal. <laughs> you got to see him in his, in his uh, Ohio mode. But um, we just wanted to get on here babble a little bit, let you know that we're both um, doing okay. Mm. Um, I'm going to continue to do my things, um, spend spend the summer with my grandbabies and the kids and try and get into some things. She'll be the travel trailer, I'll be the stick and brick. See what we both have going on and uh, it could be about just about anything. He had talked about him and his his dad <laughs> and all I picture is we, the movie okay, RV. Okay, <laughs> we about rented a, an RV to travel out to visit this past winter. Hi, and grand, uh, things had happened, and she decided to come home a little earlier, so we didn't get the opportunity to do that. It doesn't mean it's out of the question, 100% going forward in the future. That would be a comedy channel in itself. Is you documenting RV stuff? <laughs> But we were truly going to, we had the deposit down and everything to rent an RV. We were going to get a, I think we were looking at a class A. It was like 38 feet long. It was a big boy. Uh, it was slightly ridiculous. Uh, what? <laughs> we were, All I picture is that RV movie with Robin Williams. And let me tell you, 
just about every single person, Nomad, RV, full-time life, has seen it, if not own the film. And I've got it myself on DVD. All that's all I that's all I'll say is that's you said big old class A and big you two traveling and we were we were gonna shoot out there, but like I said, things happen, life changes. Again, there's been a lot going on. Uh, we're not gonna get into too many personal details, but life everybody knows it. Everybody has their own personal life that you gotta handle and deal with what what you gotta do. Um, I took a break from doing this. She took a you know a, a break. But granted, she has some stuff to catch up with. She didn't stop completely like I did. I, I, the entire time, like I said, I left November 26th, made it to Arizona, Quartzsite, Arizona, November 29th, and I took my videos and my picture, my videos and my pictures and my drone shots the whole entire time I was there and my experiences and different things that I was doing. So even though I didn't take the time because it, it, it it's a, if you want to make a video interesting, you don't just take video and slap it on there. What the hell's going on in there? Um, you know, and, and to not make it an, an hour long video, you know, you have to take the time to edit it and put it together and hopefully that you put it together in an interesting way that somebody else would want to watch it. So um, taking the time, I mean, as I said, I was out solo, so, um, and I did get to go to events, which you'll see me discuss and vid different videos and stuff so I was not only did I stay in the LTVA La Posa South in Quartzsite I went to four different um, social gatherings which were anywhere from 10 to 14 days long which is out on BLM land is generally the the time frame that you can camp free of charge for up to 14 days and then you have to move on so I have the experience now under my belt, which made me proud and a lot of this to myself was not only I made it to Arizona, which as I said, was not a fear. Yes, I'll admit that it, you know, being solo, you know, starting that all by myself, the towing, I've done that. But getting there and my very first issue, whatever, was getting the trailer unhooked from the truck. It was, I was over not so much overloaded as I wasn't loaded properly so the way the weight everything went the truck the it was jammed on the ball hitch I gotta talk with my hands but beyond that once I got things squared around and finally put away and time to go to the next event breaking down camp traveling to the new spot setting up camp spending 10 to 14 days breaking camp going to the next as well as going to get water, dumping tanks, and all that. Blowing a, a couple blue boys apart, breaking the generator a couple times. We'll get to throw those things in there. They'll be noted in the upcoming videos. But so those are the experiences and of stuff and and the people and the the events that I got to see will all be in the upcoming videos. So look forward to that. I hope you look forward to that as I am to share. Um, but I, as I said. I took the time to not only enjoy my time, take in the environment, pay attention to what I was doing, um, hone my skills, get in better shape of doing things, because each time I successfully made it to another um, at gathering or back to the LTVA, every time I made it to camp and I successfully set up camp and was settled, it really built my confidence, which is what I needed to do along with proving to myself that I could do it. So, um, as I said, I took the time to enjoy the people, the environment, and yes, my mental health. I had to take, take time for my mental health because depression for me and anxiety and uh, the PTSD I deal with due to the injuries I sustained at a work-related um, incident. Um, I have my good days and bad days, just like the next person, and, you know, I'm not going to be ashamed of it. Um, it doesn't need talked about all the time, but it is not an excuse for not posting, but all of it put together... I don't have an excuse, that's the thing, I just, I stopped. Well, you, you've been keeping yourself busy, too, and he's had other life things going on, too. We're not, but that's the we're thing. not getting into those details. No, but that's but. the thing, life goes on, and we do the best we can... And I'm talking too much, but um, 
See, we, we ain't talked to him in a while. This is what happens. Yeah. We, we got behind. But I hope everybody um, that's... I, I do want to thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those that stuck with us and that were... seemed very excited when I started. I, I'm so proud of myself, whether, whether they were interesting or not. I managed to put together everything that I had for the month of May last year. Um, and then the two I just did the other day. I posted 18 to 20 videos and got myself, at least before this month started, I got, I posted 18 or 20 videos and I was proud of myself. But what was such a nice feeling was the subscribers and friends that are like, yay, we're glad to see you back. Oh, I'm glad you're okay or we look forward to it. Thank you so much for those that have stuck with us. Thank you to those that are just now joining us and, and we hope that we don't disappoint and you find our content both interesting and useful, you know, depending on the subject. Hey, you might get a laugh from us, you might learn something, you know, whatever. Um, and it's just real life. I mean, that's, like I said, we're not scripted. We're here, we're here to share our lives and, and take, take from that what you will. Some days will be better than others, mm -hmm. but we want to share what we do in our lives for anybody that may find it interesting. I might be doing a little thing, get my words right here, I might be doing things a little different than what you guys have, our previous current subscribers have seen me do previously, but. But the stuff that he does in the in these apartments um, can translate into full-time van, RV, whatever, you know, as far as this handyman stuff that he does and, and um, things that he shares, tricks of the trade, so to speak. You might see me get electrocuted one day, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> You might see me wing a, a, a curtain rod at my father. It happens. It, it has happened. Because going back to October of 21, 20, October of 2020, when Chunky was working on tearing out the whole rear end of the RV, it was one of the subscribers who was watching the video and picked up on the fact that he oh. was sweeping up his wire stripper cutter things. I didn't see it, and I'm the one doing the video, but he was sweeping it up, and it took one of you smart, observant um, <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> hey, buddy, did you... Uh, I know where you're going with this. Did you uh, manage to get your strippers out of the pile, and he swept them up and threw them away? I so. made the mistake of telling her uh, one of the projects we had within the last couple weeks. We, uh, we were in between two apartments dealing with a water leak, and we chased it and chased it and chased it. Finally got everything stopped sealed these walls up in two units because they were back to back and left a uh, brand new 11 and one Milwaukee screwdriver in the wall. Um, we're de still debating if we're gonna get it or not, but that's probably not gonna happen as we've replaced it since. But again, you just never know what you're gonna see. We don't know what's gonna be there because nothing we do is scripted. So we just, we hope that the ones that have stuck with us continue to enjoy our content. We hope the ones that are joining us now, I hope you really enjoy the content. I uh, hope we have something you can get a laugh at learn something you know and if you want to see the progression of um what we have done and how you know our our deer in the headlight look september 3rd 2019 when i couldn't even say maiden voyage it was void and mage or some something i come up but but september 3rd 2019 was the first i've had this channel for a long time my initial content was um of the fur kids past and present and um, September 13. What are you doing? I'm making sure it was still recording. Uh, September 13 of 2019. Um, we had already been living full time in the RV. Um, we went full time the beginning of July 2019. But it wasn't until September 13th that we actually hit the road and we're on our way to to Arizona. And that's when I picked up the camera and said, Hey. Yeah. Let's document we've, this. We've learned and grown a lot since then. Mm -hmm. uh, and, Lots I, happened since then. We've learned a lot about life. We've learned a lot about ourselves. Um, mm -hmm. But stay with us. Stick with us. We promise we'll, we'll definitely have some interesting quality content coming up here very soon. Anything you, you see that's not labeled catch, cats catch up, catch up, catch up. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Anyways, anything that's not labeled that is going to be current day um, as of going far from this I can't speak today. Laugh at me in the comments. I want to see little laughy faces. Anyways, I'm tired. Um, we hope to see you guys very soon. Um, 
Thank you. Thank you again. And I guess we're closing for now. So much love and hugs. Anybody um, that's made it this far, you deserve a cookie. And if I ever meet you, I'll give you a cookie. And he will, too. So with all that being said, um, thank you again. And much love and hugs from Washington Courthouse, Ohio. Be on the lookout. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you find our content Do whatever interesting. you want to do. See you all soon. Thanks for stopping in. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks. That was 30 minutes. So? It's a catch-up. I had a good time. Mm -hmm. So you can... Uh... Sonny having his ass in there. Say bye to everybody. Say bye.